What's going on guys? Bankrupt Games here, more Fallout 3 at the Two Wastelands. Our last episode, we're actually doing something kind of different, and that's we're playing through a quest mod. And the first episode, we came over to the Chrysler's building, and there is this talent company merc called Bubba. And he had a note on him about finding a set of keys. We also explored the Chrysler's building, and there was a safe in there that we couldn't unlock. So I assume that's what these keys are for. But that note also sent us in the direction of the Corvega factory. Uh, so we'll make sure to go there and um, see what's added with the mod. So everything seems relatively normal from the outside. I'm going to assume that that's going to change as we make our way in. mark up there. I don't know if that's related to the mod because this is another location I haven't been in for a very long time. It definitely sounds like we've got tomorrow lurks waiting for us. Well no it's ants instead. <laughs> There seems to be quite a few skill books in the locations we've gone to so far related to this mod. So that's a good sign, might help us get some of our skills up a little bit. It seems like we might not have been the only ones that here. That dead raider there.
pretty cool that they had an ant queen hidden in here. Definitely don't remember that. Like I said, it has been a very long time since I've explored this location. I only just realised how much ammo we've been using making our way through this area. gave us a need to find in LOB Enterprises which is a location I definitely don't remember this would be interesting So it seems like LOB Enterprises is actually in the part of the uh, DC Central wasteland. So hopefully it shouldn't be too dangerous. That's getting over there. There's some reinforced uh, Mark II, Talon Cumber armor, which uh, 
It's actually pretty powerful. Pretty sure it's still it's still medium weight armor. I'm happy with our um, winterized combat armor then. So I think we'll stick with that. I've seen a couple of these 12.7 uh, millimeter submachine gun and as you can see they are very very powerful but 12.7 millimeter rounds are very rare uh, in New Vegas as well as um, you know the game that they're sort of from let alone Fallout 3 where they've sort of been added in retroactively so we're not too worried I'm not too worried about um, using it just at this moment until we have some more ammo Didn't actually realise we could run into Reavers this early. Yeah, definitely the toughest uh, ghouls in the wasteland. But thankfully, with our right shotgun, you can see how powerful it is. It just goes down without too much of a trouble.
So we did set off the gas with our weapon there. And... Not to our setups back behind the corner from the next things. So in Hebrews comics there are quite a few books, if I remember correctly, as well as, is it a unique armor set? Oh, I think there's an unmarked quest there as well. But for the time being we're just sort of focusing on uh, getting this mod done. So we'll get adamantium skeleton because it reduces the damage we take uh, to our limbs by 50% which is very handy along with robotics expert uh, so we do more damage against robots. And then because I remember there being quite a few skill books, we may as well explore Hubris Comics here as well. Just because it is a location I haven't been to for a long time. And that is sort of the whole point of the mod.
that there is a top computer game uh, that you can play there on well, that terminal, which is pretty cool. Something that I do remember. I am starting to think that um, this area is a lot bigger than I originally remembered. Right, it means there should be more loot than I was expecting. Go into the uh, printing section. I'm guessing now all that's left is to find out what the printer room has in store for us. There's got to be someone here with the fact that there's these baby traps laying around the place.
think we just broke the printing press, which isn't great. And there seems to be a friendly glowing one here as well. Which I've never encountered before. Let me jump a little bit. Along with these ghouls down here. So they're not doing us any harm. I will uh, let them live. I do have a feeling that there is more for us to do with the printing press. But like I said, I'm not 100% sure because I haven't been into Hubris comics for a long time. And that clown one seems to have changed his mind about being our friends. Still a cool location. And we've still got a Rug neck. As well as a Tales of a Junk Town jerky vendor. We have made it into the Mason Di District, which I do remember being very dangerous. Definitely 
need to get up as well. Yeah, it's probably quite a good thing we had the right shotgun on us. Multi-plus rifle is very powerful as well. Basically acts as a shotgun plasma weapon. And they also had a, a recharge pistol on them. Which is actually a lot better than the rifle. This is a very cool area to explore. And um, yeah, I don't remember there being a massive amount of loot, but it does lead on to a couple of other, other areas as well. But now we've made our way into the metro, I think I am actually going to wrap this episode up here. And next episode, we'll carry on following this quest and it, seeing what areas it's leading us to to explore. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and been enjoying the series so far. If you have been enjoying the series, please like and subscribe for more, and then that way you won't miss out on anything. Any mods that I've mentioned throughout the video, including this quest mod that we're playing now, will be linked down in the description below so you can try them out for yourself. Uh, thanks again for watching. Always appreciate having you here, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.